The first recorded markets were in the alleys and slums of Paris, named after the well-known insect, as the poor most commonly infested these events. <clears throat> Flea markets have been around for over 150 years. Today, a flea market is still where inexpensive or second-hand goods are bartered or sold. Just to give people an idea of how many people are here. Although today, people from all walks of life attend, and there should never be any fleas. It may be indoors or it may be outdoors. Any space that will bring a crowd. The flea market vendors may range from a family that is renting a table to sell unwanted household items or a commercial operation. I'm moving. And I realized when I started unpacking boxes that I had packed years ago that I have double of certain items. And so I decided that uh, it could probably go to a better use than being packed in a box. Actually, I like, kind of like talking to people and having fun with them. Getting, you know. I started making unique homemade soaps, and it was just a hobby of mine. So I decorated the booth when I came in with, with uh, rubber duckies, just for decoration. Everybody wanted the rubber duckies, so then I started buying more and more and more. Now I have over 500 different ones of this size. The kids remember, same as baseball or hockey cards, every duck that they have. So it was fun watching them pick up and say, oh, I had this one. Yeah, 1991, I've been at that since then. Yeah. But it, originally, it was all sports. So I got stupid and got in, well, I had a load of uh, non-sports stuff. I took that for a thousand bucks. And it kind of mushroomed from there. I hate to say it, but uh, they know my packs are not picked. Some people had it. We're doing it over the years, though. Most of them people are pretty well gone. Uh, how long have I been going to the flea markets? I'd say working at them for about five years, been going to them for about 15. And then the guy said, you want to help me one day? And I helped him. And I said, hey, if he can do it, I can do it. And this happened in Sacco. Bought a bunch of clothes off me, left me a hundred dollar bill, it was only going to be twenty dollars. Left his own clothes in the bathroom, walked out, come back the next week, he said, I give you a hundred. He said, you know you saved my life? And I goes, why? He said, because my old lady was going to kill me if I came home with dirty clothes. He said, keep the eighty dollars. vendors who have been here right for the full two years um, and a community has definitely emerged among the vendors and as with all communities you know there are some issues to work through and you know we we're all selling different things and we're all trying to you know appeal to different customer bases so sometimes it's challenging coming all together and 
operating under a single roof, but you know, we, we make do, we go through it. people breaking guitars. He broke a guitar, you know why? In Sunday. I was playing a note. Got a flat note. At the end of the set. Bang! Everybody thought, oh that's what he does. No, that's what he does. He was mad at the guitar. <laughs> this, uh, this is pop. This is a rumor. I'm not even sure. It's like the, can I say, who? It's like the whole rumor of Alice Cooper pooping on stage and then Frank Zappa eating with a spoon, which wasn't true. It was somebody else and it was a whole different scenario. So my Frank Zappa autograph is safe. <laughs> Though some vendors work at flea markets to make money, it is often more of a social event. When you walk in the door, there's, there's not a feeling of togetherness with the vendors. They're just there to sell. Here, it's, they're all family. Look, put the happy look on some customer's face when they get something good. And being a uh, habitual buyer and seller of things, like books and toys and all of the rest, uh, I thought it would be a great venue because it was right in our backyard. You never know what treasures you might find. Character name has been Gary. make a decent wage compared to the vendors renting tables. However, they are the ones that keep flea markets going as a community event. So I've been involved in the market business since uh, 1991. I was uh, 13 years in Ontario and uh, as, a, as an owner operator and I was here seven years as a vendor and two years in as an owner I probably thought that the market this market would be more widely accepted than what has been I thought that a place for people to bring whatever they wanted to bring and leave their stuff here was something to be widely embraced and it just hasn't been I remember as a kid my mother used to do there was a market in Sackville out in town center I was years ago. I mean I was I was really young maybe about 13 years old and she went to the flea market one Sunday, and that's what she did. She went to a table 
bought some things, brought a table, and, and sold it for more. I still yep. remember. Uh, and if it's successful financially for me, I would say no. Successful as in feeling good about helping people out, I would say yes. After I moved back from California, I moved out there for a short time, and uh, my wife got homesick, so I moved back. But I brought back the idea of the um, flea markets from uh, Southern California, Orange County. In fact, the Orange County Fairgrounds. I used to go there with a flashlight early in the morning, five or six o'clock, checking out the bargains. And I come back here, back around about uh, well the early 70s, and there was nobody doing flea markets in the whole Atlantic Canada. So I decided I'd give it a try. And um, I went out to the Sackville Drive-In. I had been uh, uh, dealing with the manager there, and I never thought he'd let me go out there and, and open up. But uh, it, was, it was kind of slack, I guess, the movie business, especially in the um, drive-in theaters. So I went out there, and first I started off with the idea of sort of a, getting more into vehicles. Um, but it, it turned around very quickly, first, first uh, few days, first few Sundays, that uh, all the people want to sell their stuff. My father decided he was going to bring the idea back to Canada. No one at first knew anything about a flea market or a swap meet. Uh, it took quite some time to get the word around as to what a market was all about. But in time, and over about 20, 25 years, it, it's been about that long uh, since we first started our markets. We, we did markets in various locations, as you probably know, out at the Sackville Drive-In Theatre, uh, the racetrack, um, here in Halifax at the Olympic Gardens, a number of different locations. But eventually, people became very familiar with what flea markets were all about. Uh, I've been involved with, uh, mainly at the Forum, but again, in different locations. My sister and I, Christine, have, ran the one at the, have run the one at the Forum. Uh, family have run Penhorn. Uh, Sackville, Sackville Outdoors, and Indoors as well. So we've had three major markets on the go. It's quite an experience. You deal with many different people, types of people. Um, sometimes you get, you, you have problems, like I said, with the people themselves. Sometimes they're not so patient. They come in, it's an early morning thing, and you kind of sympathize with them. You know, they're getting up early, and sometimes they're not in the best of mood. Maybe starting out, something happened. They can't, couldn't get a parking spot, or whatever the case may be. So sometimes they're a little bit edgy, and you just kind of have to smooth things out once in a while. Um, it's mainly, like I say, it's, it's more the people, but there's a lot of great people too that come to the market. The uh, big flea market in um, Sackville with my parents one day. The next week we were sellers, and uh, been involved ever since. Uh, flea markets, uh, three over the years only. I like the flea markets. I like the people. I, yeah, I do. I, I love the flea market. A lot of the vendors that come here are coming for social socialization, for the fun of it. It's not for the money, most of them, I, I, I think. You get the odd, you get some that just come here to sell their stuff, just to clear it out. But you know, I think one of the things that a lot of people who come to the market, it's not even about the money. The, like People that are selling their per personal possessions, I think they want to know where those possessions are going. They, they, they truly just don't want to donate them because they want to see who's buying them, they want to know where they're going, and, and get a little bit of money for them too. We've been doing the flea market, well we started once back, what, probably 20 years ago, yeah. and then we kind of got out of it, so the last six or seven years we're really getting back into it and trying to get it built up. Uh, we took over the property 20 years ago, roughly? Oh to, gosh, yes. Or more than that, 30, yeah. 25 years ago. To run it, uh, the government gave it, the well, county gave it to us fairly cheap to, to do our drive-in, bingo, and uh, flea market. 
it was only like seven years ago that we actually opened it up as a theater. Before that, we just did a few other small events here. So if we let the vendors in free and we give them free coffee, tea, popcorn, and their name goes in for a $50 monthly draw, it encourages people to bring their merchandise and come out here and set up. And it's off of the road, lots of parking, it's safer than par having a yard sale on the highway, and so this is what we decide to do. I don't think they make that much money. I think it is a social thing. I've had different ones say, oh, they have fun here on Sunday morning. This is up to them. Sunday markets run its course. Is it time for the vendors to pack up their tables? and for the owners and managers to take down their tents. Or will the social aspect keep these markets running forever?